I like to say I'm a bit of an astronaut, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if that'll fly with NASA. Around that time that everybody starts, uh, you know, training to drive, um, we started looking around for different options. You know, we looked, um, minivans aren't the sexiest thing alive, but, um, uh, it was the, uh, the one that worked the best. Uh, you know, there was some serious training that you had to go about before you were able to purchase the equipment. Um, and there were, uh, three trainers in the U.S., um, and so we, uh, got associated with one in, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and, uh, flew out there for a week, and you have to go through a bunch of different cognitive and physical tests. Um, luckily I passed those. So we did 20 hours of, you know, learning the joystick system and, and all of that in his vehicle. Um, came back with, you know, with notes saying we could purchase it. Uh, we purchase it and then you purchase the van separately. And then what they do is they actually take the whole drivetrain out of the car. Uh, they ship that to Louisiana along with the joystick. Um, that all gets kind of fit it together and they bring it back. So that's a, a six month process. You know, at the time they, they put it in, I was the uh, first in Texas and 150th in the world to use the equipment. So, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we had to fly the trainer out for another week and do 20 hours of training in my vehicle. And you know, I have to go, had to go through what every 16 year old has to do with the state of Texas. So the technology that uh, you know they use with the joystick that Avit uh, uses was originally developed by NASA and used to drive the lunar rovers. And when the system's on and working, um, you can see the gas pedal move in and out, you know, based on how far you push forward. And then left and right steers, and that you know you actually the, turn, the steering wheel turns. I like to say I'm a bit of an astronaut, but uh, I don't know if that'll fly with NASA. The time spent playing video games was just training for this moment, right? Uh, except video games don't have as many consequences as actually driving does.